Okay, welcome. This is James with Market Heist, and today I have the pleasure and honor of uh, interviewing a, uh, a gentleman I've been following for a very long time, uh, Dennis Parmalee, uh, better known as E-Man Wizard. Welcome today, sir. Thank you very much, James. I think this is the first time I've ever spoken to you in person and met you in person, even though we've probably got 500 tweets between us. Yeah, obviously I didn't make much of an impression on you, man, if that's the last time we talked. <laughs> no, no, actually we're, we're honored to have you here, and, and uh, hopefully... Um, uh, teach some of the folks the way you do things. So why don't you share with us how you became a trader, uh, what you did before, your, your background leading into trading, and specifically how you've been successful in trading in the market, especially futures, because it is a high-risk environment and we know how difficult it is to, to trade for a living. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I guess I was born to be a teacher, um, be a coach, I was very, very athletic, uh, loved moving around when I was younger, could not sit still. Um, I'm an anomaly. How I got to this point in my life where I would sit still and, and get focused uh, behind a desk or standing up just uh, sedate uh, is beyond me. But I got started with a, I had a real estate business. I was, I'm a broker, still am. Um, and one of my uh, agents, came to me and said, you know, I'm studying the markets. Would you be interested? I said, sure, why not? Always a game for something. So he got me started in it. We started with some silver positions, did some options, and I got hooked. Um, and that was probably back around 92, 93, uh, 1993. Um, in case Eli's uh, listening, he'll be saying that it was 1893, but <laughs> let's, let's make sure we all know it's 1993. Uh, that's about when I got started. Um, I had been a teacher. I taught physical education. I loved athletics, and uh, and it was in my blood. I just I was a coach. Um, played golf on the college team at Springfield College. Was a swimmer. Um, I believed that all of life's lessons served me, and so as a coach, as a teacher, um, I wanted to do something with that. And I did not want to just be a teacher all my life, but I wanted to do other things. So in the late 80s, early 90s, I got out of uh, teaching and coaching. Had been a recreation director for the town of Woodbridge. Um, ran the pool, a uh, number of jobs. Uh, was an assistant golf pro for a few years. So I had a, a variety of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to think that all of those experiences helped to shape me. Um, the common denominator was as a graduate of Springfield College, uh, humanistic background, uh, try to help people. So, so that's kind of where I'm coming from into this business, and it's uh, like night and day because you'll have people trying to help each other out here in the Twitter world, for example, and others that are trying to cut your mm -hmm. throats because that's the nature of business. Right. So number one, you have, you have to protect yourself. And um, uh, so that's how I got started, just with, with options, and then gradually moved into uh, looking at the mini when that started to, to flourish, uh, just made perfect sense. And I studied with a number of mentors. Um, and you have permission, by the way, to stop me anytime I get rolling because okay. I have a tendency to, to get going. And, and in the chat room, you tend to do this. Uh, sure. very. So if you need to break me anytime, feel comfortable doing that. Okay. Uh, that's my stop loss. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've seen a lot over the years, James. Um, you know, from uh, the crisis back there in the uh, late 90s. Um, I mean, I've seen it all. Uh, you know, that, that's part of it. Um, I think after a while you get more experienced. It's not that you're smarter than anybody else, but you've lived long enough to see more, mm -hmm. to have more experience to draw from. Okay. All right. Excellent. 